Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to Kirby reacting to me. So check this video out. I refuse to spend money on two things. Number one, I think everyone knows is uh, coffee. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, the markup of coffee at Starbucks and coffee bean and a lot of those places out there. So I just make it at home for 20 cents. I love this guy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. He's not an idiot. He knows exactly what he's spending his money on. He's got it graphed out. He's very, very conscious of not wasting a single cent. Nothing wrong with that. That's very smart. Coffee is a big money waster. You get really hosed when you buy it. Also designer clothing. Don't see the point in going and spending $700 on like Gucci shoes. So I end up saving about 99% of my income just because my income is so high and I keep my expenses so low. And most of the properties just kind of like pay for my living expenses. So anything else I make is really just seen as a bonus and I save and invest it. Now the one thing I would disagree with him on is buying really cheap clothes. I'd rather say, look, that's okay for jeans and a t-shirt maybe, but every once in a while buy a spectacular spectacular piece that's going to last you your lifetime. I like to buy great suits. All right, Kirby. Yeah, before I sent this video to you for us to react to, I was laughing because I was literally thinking that Kevin O'Leary's Kirby <laughs> crap stuff in this video. <laughs> Just cheap as hell. <laughs> but um, no, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. for for anybody that was wondering, um, did Alex ever find his long lost father? Graham Stephan is the guy. <laughs> um, they're, they're spinning images of each other. And a lot of stuff that Graham Stephan say, I agree with. I mean, not the promotion of, you know, different, you know, platforms and all that. But just the early Graham financial literacy, I agree with. Coffee, I'm not a big coffee drinker. I'm just going to be honest with you. So, I mean, people going to Starbucks every day drinking coffee. I mean, does do it make sense to not buy, not uh, go there and buy coffee and make it at home? Yes, especially if you somebody like Alex that drink three, four cups a day, insane. Um, the other part that he said, and this is the part that I like, designer clothes. I mean, as you see, me and Alex, we get on here, we certify bums every time we show up on this platform, and that's because we don't spend money on stuff to impress other people because that's really what you're doing why would i advertise for i'll just use uh graham uh, gucci and all of that they already have the money we're trying to get to that level so i just wear stuff that makes me comfortable i live in florida so the only thing i'm doing is shorts and t-shirts every day and then that's why y'all see me with all the crazy t-shirts because that's all i'm wearing that's my go to bed gear that's my go out to eat gear. That's my that's my everything right there. I don't I don't you know you see me at a funeral with shorts and t-shirts <laughs> like oh he comfortable. That's that's just who I am. And I I mean I used to be the name brand guy. I used to be the guy that uh you know always had to you know show up and show out for everybody. But then I realized that I'm feeding the beast. I'm feeding Gucci Fendi. I'm feeding. Back in the day, Alex ain't old enough. Guess and Fila and all of them. I'm feeding all. I'm feeding all that beast, and they already have the money, and I'm trying to get it, and I'm giving them my pennies to make them more money. Um, so that's that's how I look at that. Um, when Kevin O'Leary said something about a good piece, like a suit or something like that, I mean, if the environment calls for it, if you're gonna be in those arenas, then having a good suit, you don't want to go in there looking like a sloppy Joe sandwich, uh, going into, you know, meetings with higher ups that, you know, believe in that tire. So if you're going to do it, do that right. But that's, again, that's a, you know, piece that you're going to wear once every couple months or something like that. I mean, if you get fat like me, then you got to go get a new one every now and then. But, but yeah, but the, the main part and Alex that I'm going to give you the floor is that I like that Graham Stephan said, and I think it really went missed in this video, but he said in the video, but people probably miss it, is he can save 99% of his income. Why? Because his monthly expenses is so low. Most of America, they get more money, they bring the expenses up to the income. The key is to keep your expenses low, and then you have all that money over the top. You can save, you can invest. And then you can go blow or wherever, but your monthly expenses is so low that you can have some passive income coming from, you know, real estate or whatever, dividends, cover calls, cash secure puts, 
you know, a side hustle or something like that, that can pay those monthly expenses. And then you have that big bubble of money over the top. So you're not stressing when, you know, oh, my job didn't pay me for my, my paycheck was short or you had to take extra days off. So your money didn't look right or a financial event happens in the family. And you got to come up with X amount of dollars. If you keep your monthly expenses low, all that extra money, it gives you opportunity to do a lot of things with and protecting and making sure your family have a good life is one of those things that money affords you to do. And I think that's the biggest one. And like, so we all always talk about uh, my family. We save 80% of our income. People are like, oh, you're crazy. No, it's easy. Just keep your monthly expenses low as possible and make as much money. So how Alex on his journey to go buy another house. I remember Alex didn't have, what, two years ago, Alex didn't have one house. Now Alex going for his, what, this the third or fourth? Which one was it? Yeah, third rental property. Yeah. Fourth. Going for the third. third. So this would be a fourth. This would be a fourth house. Only thing he did was he kept his expenses low, and then he got extra, and then all the extra money that he brought in, he didn't say, "Oh, well, since I'm bringing in an extra six, seven thousand dollars, then I need to go buy a bigger house, buy a bigger car, let everybody know that I'm making more money." So he used the money to make more money. Use the money to make more money, and then finally, people, I get him to go out to a restaurant and spend money every now and then. He's still a little shaky on that. He's still be trying to drink water and stuff like that. But we're going to fix that. But it's not going into his everyday expense. If if the world went to crap today, he has other avenues to bring, bring him in money to pay for his livelihood, his family's livelihood. That's the key that I think everybody missed in that video instead of everybody when I, oh, he saves 99%. But how does he do, how does he do it? He keeps his expenses low. There's nothing wrong with having the name brand stuff and buying that stuff with extra money you have if you bringing in $10,000 a month and you only spending $2,000 a month to live. But most people want to bring in $10,000 a month, let the world know they're making $10,000 a month, so they got to get the bigger house, bigger car, show off, and then try to throw some Fendi, some Gucci, and all that other stuff in there. And then next thing you know, they're sitting over uh, their income bracket because they don't understand what the real purpose of money is for. Alex, I went on my soapbox, but I had to talk to them about your father. My bad. <laughs> no, Graham Stephan is actually like the first financial person I started listening to and watching. And um, it's it's crazy how much people actually do spend on coffee. And that's actually where I got the idea from, because I'm like you said, I'm a huge coffee drinker, but. I mean, literally just a couple of days ago, there was uh, there's a guy that's been asking me like about investing and stocks and real estate and what I'm doing. But and I told him, I said, it's so much of a process for me to just like tell you, like, this is how you do it, because you have to go through years of studying and training and stuff like that to actually be able to do it. And so while he's interested in it, then about two days after that, after him asking me, He's ordering Starbucks. And I just made a joke. I was like, wow, I've never seen someone actually like order Starbucks to like their location. Like I always just see people at the cafe or whatever. He's like, no, I order it about like at least once every day, if not three times. And I'm like, how much do you spend per order? He was like, well, this order was $18. And I'm like, if you order it once a day, like that's like $540 in a month. And so it's just, it's stuff like that. I'm like, if people that don't have assets, don't have extra income, don't have businesses, want to get to that point, you have to start with the basic small stuff in your life that is unnecessary and cut that out to save that capital to build. And then now that I'm now, one thing that you're teaching me that I'm learning now is like, once you start making more money, then you got to worry about the bigger expenses. You know, quit trying to uh, step over. What is it like? You're stepping over dollars. Yeah, 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 right, right, yeah, right. Exactly. Right, so you right. got to start looking at the bigger ticket items. But in the beginning, when you just have a day job and that's your only income, you it's very important to cut out that small stuff because that's what's consuming all your capital, and you need that to build your income. But that one, and then the designer clothing too. Like Graham Stephan was saying, it's all unnecessary stuff, and then. If you can cut out the basic uh, desires and stuff like that and just 
learn a way to simplify it, you'll get to the point where you've created those habits to where when you are making X amount of dollars, it does become 99 or it does become 1% of, uh, you know, your income that you're actually spending to live on. Like, With all that being said, people, uh, set up a GoFundMe for Alex and his father re <laughs> reuniting. Uh, <laughs> but y'all have a good one. And just, re just remember, we're not trying to stop you from, you know, balling till you fall, but first get the money first before you ball. Yeah, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.